Okay. Oh man. It's just it's just getting tough, uh, but you gotta be strong, you know, and understand that things are happening to you, uh, not only physically, but mentally, the way they're just slowly breaking your thinking pattern and changing it in such a illogical way. It's just, it's so bad. And you know, everybody's trying to make you acceptive of things that are so, you know, I, it was hard for me to sleep, but let me just introduce myself and let me continuously speak about what's happening to me. And, and um, making sure that I say what needs to be said. I'm what you call a TI, a target individual. What we are target individuals are human subjects that are experiencing horrible things to, because of what we are to governmental entities. We are human subject for the developing of technology um, that is extremely advanced. And what this technology is supposed to be doing for a lot of us is just kind of rewire us in such a different ways. And they look at the results and continuously implement these tactics repetitively and purely manipulative, changing us in not only physically, which is, I think, that's the easiest aspect of things, but mentally, and making, the, making us think in such illogical and making us try to make us accept these obvious manipulations that you know makes first of all no sense you are or surrounded by people um we, we call them perps if you hear the target individual talk about perps around you that's people who are contracted civilian contracted individual who are around you and they have their job to continuously create this, this ecosystem of making you believe that whatever manipulation makes sense with like gaslighting on steroid and some of these people are like childlike individual so I think for them it's easy to kind of dumb themselves down to that level but either way you have all kind of people involving themselves in trying to get you to accept these retardations that's the best way I can I can describe the way they make us think and but <clears throat> that is not the 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 six like what's what's making it hard for us was to, to especially for me i should speak for myself specifically is the technology now i'm a target individual who not only deal with gang stalking but also this v2k synthetic telepathy that you heard a lot from other target individuals saying that that this is some kind of technology that influences your thinking your reactions your thoughts and they you can hear interactions from perps that are utilizing some of this v2k technology where you know they're not close to you as in they're not here but you hear them as if they are just next door um and you can hear them interacting to you and going through these repetitive scripts that you heard a lot of other target individuals talk about which are meant to confuse you disorient you and make you accept these things it is disturbing but that's the things we deal with um and they you know they go into these repetitive scripts <clears throat> to disorient you as you they make you think in these retarded ways and i'm sorry for using that language but that's the best way to descri this, this, describe this this manipulations that we experience because it's obvious that it's just nonsensicalness and a lot of the things you see you, you a lot of things that you're going to hear me say is things that you're going to hear me say that in my previous videos, but with time, it's like they break you down to accept this retardation more and more and more. And you, you, your logic and your brain somehow is being just broken down and repatterned in these retarded ways. I shouldn't even use that word. Let me just use a better word. In these nonsensical ways. To get you to accept these ways. And with time, the things I've, I was saying like a year ago now become such a like, oh my gosh, like a, a something that you subscribe to, like never subscribe to that, that makes more sense and it's just more like more of a like logical thought that if, obviously it's not logical because you know that this is the way they want to manipulate things. 
to be perceived as. Um, and so for me, this synthetic telepathy has been manipulating my thoughts, my mind, my memories, like big time, my reactions, my and no, no, no stop. And as I'm saying that, you hear this perp saying all the and the perps utilizing this V2K as they interact with me. It's so funny how like they try to use this different tonality. You know, they just imagine if you're trying to prove something that is so retarded, but you're using it in a tonality. It's like, but we are. It's you. And the thing is, just like saying, "Oh, the sky is 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 green." No, it's green. No, the sky is is green. And because I speak like that, you should understand. That makes sense. You see, the way I talk, this is how they try to interact with me using this V2K. Try to make me believe this nonsensical that you understand is just retarded beyond end. But because they sp they start talking this way, and it's just like, and you see who's talking, well, you have an idea who's talking to you because you have seen some of them. And they're like child-like individuals, or even like adults that just like, do you think because you sound this way, all of a sudden, this is gonna make sense? And it's just randomly saying, oh, he'll talk to you. Try to disorient you and talk about how you're going to be tortured. Because you are listening to them for the retards that they're supposed to be in order for me to accept these things. And you as a civilian, having to deal with technology that you can do nothing about, is going to overwhelm. The brain is going to be overlaid with these ways of thinking. And you, you, there's nothing you can do but to deal with and knowing that slowly my, my logic, my rationale is being broken down. There's nothing I can do to stop that because this technology literally is overlaying ways of thinking in your brain that are becoming more and more illogical. And people around you are supposed to be like, go, they just have to wait, literally. They just, they don't even, I don't even think they have to say anything. It just seems like they just can wait a little bit. Okay, right now it sounds illogical and nonsensical, but within a few days or whatever hours, we can come in and, and make it seem like it makes sense. Because they're going to break him down. Like this technology is going to break his logic down so we can make it seem more logical and sensical. It's all, it's like... With time, your brain logic is just like fades away, just like your memories, just like your body, obviously. But it just becomes more and more just illogical. So you are helpless in the sense like I'm going to start thinking this re retarded ways. And, and it's going to stick in. This is it's going to, this thoughts, these ways they want me to, 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 to perceive things and the way they want me to see myself, they, 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 they're really going to try to make it stick because this technology can. And they just got to chill and, and wait for, for the brain to just be more ravaged by this technology that just like overwhelms you with this just taking over your brain. And they, every once in a while they can come in, use the tonality of what made. Yeah, the, and they, they, that, that's how they sound. This is how... When I, I hear these perps interacting with me, the way they are utilizing their tonality as if that's gonna change, to me that's just like gimmicky. I'm like, you, you just sound like that because you want me to start listening to your tonality in order to, for me to believe this nonsensical. I know you're just a bottom feeder. And I think it's kind of humiliating for yourself to do these things and talk this way, it's kind of gimmicky. But I understand this technology can do these things to me. And so please, I understand this not because you convinced me with your tonality but because my brain has gone to that level because of this technology can really just overwhelm your brain manipulate your brain and you see this nobody's just like oh we can be mean they're going but they, like these losers they have they, they've empowered these losers that's with with or without them my, my brain is gonna be ravaged and you've understand that they just just nothing. They can just sit there, do nothing, say nothing. His brain is gonna be ravaged. And when I mean ravages, his logicalness is gonna disappear. They gonna his brain is gonna fade away. 
his logic, his ways of thinking is gonna fade away. We've, and they they use these losers who's like, oh, gonna win, who's gonna beat you. It's like, of course. And I think they want to kind of rush that to that point because they agitate me and create this agitation, which I believe, I don't know, this is speculation, kind of aids to speed up things because they truly don't have to say anything. They truly don't. Because I'm, at this point, the PSYOP is dead. I'm never going to subscribe to that PSYOP. Obviously, I understand that this is run by the government. Not some next door... Fun to tell, talks like this. And it's like, I know. I know what you guys do. I know who you've done it to. I understand you do that to women and children. I'm never going to subscribe to these manipulations. I'm never going to subscribe to these logics. But I'm going to experience them. It was... It's just, last night was just disturbing. And it's because... I, I I was at somebody's house and she was oh my gosh, you know I realized how it's helpful to have these like interactions and uh, be able to express yourself, either via these videos or or whatever. But when you are surrounded by somebody, I don't I don't wanna by a perp, and you can express yourself and and speak up about the retardations and the way they want me to think, it become worse. And I could see they were boxing in these retardations and disturbing ways of thinking. You know, they take things that they've started working on a year ago and try to create more out of, out of it, try to maintain, try to create this, this new version of like, not version, but as you, you're breaking down logically and your memory is fading away, they could just implanting more of this falsified persona. And yesterday I spoke about it, um, but it, you gotta understand that this is it's disturbing. I've talked about that but I think the first time I addressed that it was a year ago. They were trying to create this new version of like a perceptions and, and create this like narrations of my friend's cousins putting lotion on her, her his her daughter. She's like four, five, six, seven, between the like from four to seven. I don't know, within that age group. And they're putting lotion in the living room. And she was naked, the kid was naked, they were putting lotion and it's the typical things in, in African house household. And they're like, oh, but when you, because she was, she was there. And when I was look, when I looked, she was there. And they're like, oh, you see, you looked. And they try to create this the way you're looking at her, try to turn into something sexual. So you know they can paint a picture in a different fashion. And they, because it's a kid naked, and they're like, you see, you saw. And uh, by the way, a black look, a black girl naked. And so, because they've been doing these pedophilia things where every time I look at a little girl, especially black little girls, they create these pedophilia things. So they go into the memories, like, okay, they start like changing. Instead of just the nothing it was, the nothingness it was, just a kid, you put in lotion, okay, whatever. And then they try to go, oh, no, but you see, when you looked at her, you see, you start, and they start focusing the private area, you did, ugh. you looked at it like that, and then you felt, ugh. creating this like weird, like narrations that is sexual. Now, that was a year ago. Now, my memory is even gone. They're like, oh, but all along, you see, the, your employer put you in that program. They saw that moment when you, you were. It's like, that's when they knew. And, and these stories comes in your brain. And it's like, first of all, my employer sold industrial box. Sorry, industrial supplies, not boxes. Industrial supplies. What? And you guys, this, this program is renowned to do this pedophilia type of tormenting. They literally have forced people to think in this disgusting pedophilia ways, which is what I've been experiencing since August 19, 2019. Two seconds ago, I saw an ad where there was like a mother, father, and this little girl holding boxes of, of like plants. And they were forcing me to get stimulation. Do you think I don't know that this is something that you guys forced me to experience? So these people, I tried to come up with ways to make me believe, no, but what we did was where we mapped it because, and then I tried to come up with things. And now this moment of this kid, naked kid, that they were pulling lotion, in my mind, the way they tried to create this version. So today when they do this pedophilia type of torture, they can be like, no, but you see, you see this thing, and make you try to accept that, no, you know, the people who put you in this program, they saw that, they were investigating, it was like they investigated, they were selling industrial supplies to some kind of business. And these people who do these things to me are renowned to be manipulating people in this pedophilia type of ways of thinking. And they try to get you to, and now every time I'm like, they do this pedophilia type of torture, they, and all throughout the night, and because they break you down slowly like that. 
sometimes I'm not even aware they're doing that, but they kind of bring up, it's like, oh, you see how you feel now about it now? And throughout the night, they were making me feel sexual stimulations, and they make me think of this moment when this kid was like, trying to train my brain to see that moment in this more se in this sexual way, increasing the, the sexual aspect of things over and over, like increasingly worse and worse and worse and worse, and training my brain to see th this moment in a sexual way. And you see, even when I'm speaking, they're trying to, oh, more sex. No, because it started with like, oh, I'm like, this is so of course it's false. And then it gets, it, it gets more and more, like they, they add to it, to they add to it, to add to it, to, to, to the point where I'm like, oh, oh, disgusting. It started a year ago, and now it's here at this level, as my brain is fried up. So this non-sexual moment of this kid, you know, now I'm like, ugh. And they make me like zoom into the private area. And at one point, it's like, did you see the private area? And the kid was naked. So you see the kid naked completely. That's that. Whatever. And it's like, no, but you, you kind of look down. <laughs> it's like this stupid, just look down with the stupidity. And it's like, you see, that's proof. Decide. It's, it's not giving you sensation, stimulation, forcing you to a picture that kid's private area. It's, it's so disturbing. To try to get you to accept what's happening today is something naturally they were just mapping it. When in reality, it's them doing the perifieta pretortia and try to find ways to convince you that these things is happening to you because they were just like, it was, it was, it was there and they just kind of like, it was dormant, but they just brought it up and, and, and throughout the night, they were stimulating me, making me think of that moment. They were stimulating me, making me think of like sexual moments with a woman and then bring up this moment of this kid being lotion like it con con continuously train my brain in this ways and yesterday i made a video about how i was with this woman and while we are sexually intimate she would do these things with a you know sexually every time they would put kids in my head and she would time it to do some contractions of some sort i don't want to go into details and i was like this is the kind of people who are trying to convince you that this is like, no, we mapped it. No, and this is one of many times, she's not the only one. I've been with a woman who literally stopped what she was doing to me, or we're doing things, something, something sexual, and she looked at me and said, black girls, and she go back. To train my brain in these disgusting ways. And these people are like, and then they, they, they come up with stories like, yeah. <laughs> to try to convince me that these things is my, my employer put me in this program, they saw that my employer has nothing. These people are extra. My employer who put me in this program is a employer that is B2B, that sells business, supplies to other businesses, is selling industrial stuff for like warehouses and stuff like that. And they put me in this program. And once you put in this program, there is one thing they do to you is try to first of all slander you and then prep you to be manipulated. They start mapping your brain in getting your brain signature. So they put you in, 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 in this whatever system that then can overlay ways of thinking and reacting. And that's when the pedophilia type of tormenting starts, where they make you have sexual stimulations and your reactions toward children. And these people who put me in this program knew this. And the slenders and everything else, they knew that. So I'm, you're making me think of the people who put me in this program who I know have, their job is to sell products to warehouses and you want me to be like, oh, they were like, they know that they, they were investing. They put me in this program because they wanted to get rid of me. These people are very conservative. And I was one of my only few people in my race there. So once they put you in that program, they try to find ways to slander you, which is usually pedophilia centric. But for me, there's nothing real. And the only thing they can talk about is me when I was a child in eighth grade. So now what's happening in middle school? And now what's happening is they try to create false memories and create stimulations and sensations and, and perceptions that falsify my memories in order to be like, you see that pattern? No, they saw that there. You see that? You see that when those And try to create this sensation and stimulation they make me experience today. That they said you initially that I experienced it when I was a child, but because I'm a ch you can't talk about a child brain and the way, so they like go into memories as an adult or some sort and be like, No, do you feel like that when you were, remember when you were 19 years old, you went to see your friend, you remember that you, you, you and start coming, coming up with stories 
and you're really breaking you down into accepting these things and then utilizing the different tactics of fear. The warnings of what's gonna happen to me. They're gonna rape you, they're gonna torture you, they're gonna, every time they make me think in this way, they're gonna cut you down. They're gonna cut your, 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 your testicles. I was like, I rather get my testicle cut than having to do what they do. These people, the reality of what they're part of is not only they manipulate people in psychologically this way, but they torture children sexually. These people are the foulest human beings. And day in and day out, can you imagine somebody who, while you, you are being sexually intimate, would want to would put things in your head regarding children, and they, the people involved in them in that program, who you're with intimately, would do something sexual to time with when they implant these thoughts of children to get you to condition your brain in these pedophilia ways. What kind of life is that? Doing things, I mean, it, it was so, somebody literally, like I said, as I'm with this woman, right, she stopped, looked at me, and said, black girl, and then, do you understand, she, 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 you think she, what, what she's trying to do there? Mapping? They're trying to make you think about kids in a sexual way and create these things. And then use this trash, this purpose contracted by the governmental entity that, that wants to come up with this ways. And mind you, my thoughts are becoming so... Uh, yes, they were so bad. They, the way your logic and rationality has gone is just... They, whatever they can, so you can look at them in a credible way, they all do it. And they can erase your memory that you forget that all... Since August 19, 2019, you couldn't even... You can't even... I can even look at a commercial with a child there because they're going to force me stimulations. I want you to focus like, is, do, do you think I, I don't remember me not having that? They are erasing memories so that you remember only what you're experiencing today. Not before August 19, 2019. This is why I make videos, targeting video. I want to continue to see what has happened to me as I understand that with time, it's getting worse. It's getting worse for me for me, psychologically, where I'm, my memories and rationality and logics are just being destroyed. And so when I speak in these videos, it's a way to record while I'm able to say things the way I need to be said, the, the, the way they need to be said. Because I understand there'll be a day I won't be able to say anything. So this is a way to record this as I'm listening to this purpose, this trash that wanting to live in this fantasy. So this delusional trash, as they do what they do, they hear themselves for what they are. There's no escapism. That's what you sign up for. This is what you're part of. You not only you do these psychological manipulations, but you're actually involved in a program that does horrible things to women and children. And the entities running this fucking trash are filled with pedophiles. Well, me, they are here manipulating memories and finding how they can flip things and create narratives. So when I, I'm experiencing this disgusting pedophilia, things like, no, we mapped it. And the people who put me in this program who donated money to a pedophile, they can't even say his name. But they're like, no, they were like, they, these people who sell things to warehouses, they were investigating you. Pfft. Talking individual. I say this. Because I don't know when, um, uh, uh, when the day come, I can't say that. For me, even my family is involved. But I, I've, I've seen even my family member who tried to box in. It's funny, my mother, I've made videos about my mother, my father, my, my family. And you can see people, to them it's becoming a game. They try to box in these retardations. But... I will never forget what I've experienced from my family. I've seen them involve themselves and try to make me accept these things. I, if I told you the things I've heard my own family member try to make convince me when I knew something was going on, I, somebody swearing on, my, on the grave of somebody, knowing that, and today, so today when, when they try to box in using family members, like I see them for what they are they're part of, they understand the system. Everybody knows that this is a psychological manipulation where 
they want you to box in whatever logic and irrationality for you to accept these manipulations. And family members will participate in the gaslighting to get you to accept these things. But I've accepted, I've said my goodbyes knowing reality. It's like I said, and as I said my goodbyes, and I said it in a place where I truly said the goodbyes. I don't want to go the, the poetic aspect of things, but I said my goodbyes to this person at a place where she was swearing on this grave that she was not involved in anything. On the grave, I say my goodbyes on. Shortly after, thing happened. So, Target and Vision, do not subscribe to any manipulation. You'll see people that you love or you loved and cared for try to make you accept and participate in things that are so disturbing to get you to accept these things. Stay strong. Death comes to all of us. I'm not perfect. I'm not. Very far. Every day, um, I have my true imperfection that, to the obviously, now is, is they, they play with it and change and shift it to, to toward children. But my imperfection, I even used to try to shift it toward children and try to play this. And it's so disturbing. So you gotta be strong. And I don't even want to even, you know. I don't even want to fall into my own imperfections when it comes to things that have nothing to do with children. Because even that breaks you down in other ways. So, you gotta be strong, I mean, and just know yourself. Know your imperfections and understand they'll use your imperfection to try to get you to subscribe to this nastiness, this pedophilia things they do. Now, whatever things that's going to happen to me, I know it's going to be horrible. These people have been humiliated somehow. There has been something. Always kind of putting things in perspective. They will try to make me subscribe to these pedophilia things. Manipulate my memories. You see articles talk about memory manipulation, but that's nothing. But you find out the agencies that contract this trash actually fill with pedophiles. I mean, the way, the, 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 over, the issues with pedophilia and these agencies are just not like casual stuff. We're talking about the way these people they get caught. It's not even because they did some deep investigation. It's accidentally. Somebody leaving their laptop on unattended child porn is a CIA agent, DARPA agent that was supposed to clean the, the somebody's supposed to a program man, manager DARPA. Somebody's supposed to clean the the, the work computer, find out child porn. Things like that. And those are the people here, they know no, we map them, we manipulate you, and they have people doing things while in the midst of being intimate sexually and try to get you to to condition you with kids says so literally say black girl while you're having in, in intimate moments with a woman to try to get you to to accept these things and try to like do you think this is a do you think you brainwash somebody you manipulate or you condition somebody's brain psychologically of course i know that's your job to manipulate people like this and be acceptive and they send these retards, these childlike individuals, when this more mature don't want to be heard in these moments because logic is just something they don't want to be. They want to still maintain a sense of credibility. They still want to maintain this. And then when you hear me speak and putting things together, these people have patterns of utilizing pedophilia type of torture, literally. It's like somebody, almost all target individual, are forced to see child porn in their mind. You understand these people? Tactics are literally to force men and women to see themselves in these pedophilia ways so they can kill themselves. And then they try to find ways to and manipulate memories. I've been talking about memory manipulation before even they manipulate this memory because that's what they've been doing. And it's like, no, and they, in your brain, they try to come up with ways to make you think. No, in your brain, they, they, you know, you knew that this was going to be brought up. It's like, what the, This is the kind of manipulation they have us think. And all you do is just literally saying what's happening to you. 
and you hear it go back it's like oh a year ago i said that three years ago i was like, saying that they were putting narrations as them putting perception on there literally you would think that I, I knew this was going to be they literally literally do the same thing that i'm talking about but i'm not even talking about this moment because i don't you know. and three years later they bring this thing that manipulate and change and it's like you see it's like i've been talking about how you man manipulate my memories in this exact way three years ago And everybody around you hear the noise campaign, you see the honking. This is just not randomly happening. They want to box in some falsifications. And in my brain, they, they're trying to be like, remember your coworker who you, you're flirting with, you know, when you haven't seen her, she, and she's like, oh, you str hey, stranger, hey, stranger, hey, stranger, 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 stranger danger, or something like that. You see, that they knew. It's like, they, they bring up a moment when I'm like somewhat flirting with somebody. A co-worker it's like you see they knew all along <laughs> it's like once you put in this program for the purpose of this gaslighting you have to dumb yourself down and I'm calling that out I, I'm saying you you are sounding and every time I laugh about the, the way they try to be so comical it's like oh you left they're gonna laugh it's like yes whatever torture is going to happen to me i will not let you escape from the retardation you have to make yourself become i'm not going to let them escape and and no see yourself for the retard that you have to make yourself be in order for me to accept these manipulations i understand it's called gaslighting but this is not just regular gaslighting it's gaslighting on steroids it's gaslighting in uh, applied by entities from the intelligence community that provide this trash and not only that we target individual have this technology that wires rewire brain in this illogicalness and they have this trash who now also understand confident because they don't even have to do anything they see there's a like, home that there is there is pedophilia type of torture there is that i'm with a, a woman and she literally said black girl while she's doing something to me <laughs> no, <there it> is. <laughs> then you see them in person like you guys are fucking retards I'd rather die slow and whatever torture I'm gonna go through they tell me how I'm gonna be impaled and I was like listen it's not gonna stop reality no impaling no castration no whatever is gonna change reality I'm sorry so I'm gonna go through it I'm gonna have to matter of fact I have to even run to it so this trash have whatever happened to them come to because it's not gonna stop that just like me saying this is not gonna stop that matter of fact it might even get it worse for me because they get angry for the fact that i'm not letting them escape into the fantasy so i'm making it worse for myself in regard of whatever they're gonna do to me but it's not gonna get better for them so my target individuals stay strong and know that justice will be done because they are trash and low-life cowards that have been even involved in torturing children and wants to live in that fantasy.